African Billionaires 2020, Sindile Shezi in focus. Sindile Shezi is a 24-year-old South African self-made millionaire whose net worth stands in at about $2.3 million. And we are going to be analyzing his story based on the following metrics. Background, education, early and present career, and finally, level of ingenuity. If you are interested in this type of content, then keep watching. Welcome future millionaires to another episode on our channel. If you are new here, you are welcome to Millionaire by 25 YouTube channel. The best place on the internet to get inspiration and information about wealth, business, and making money online. Our goal on this channel is to take you steps closer to your goals of financial freedom. So, be sure to click the red subscribe button and bell notification icon so that you can be informed when we put out new amazing videos like this one. We will be scoring every metric out of 10 and at the end, take an average. The lower the score, the more rounds of applause he deserves for performing something close to a miracle. On the other hand, a high score is an indication that he was expected to succeed. So, without further ado, here is the analysis of Sandile Shizi's story so far. Number 1. Background. Quite frankly, not a lot of information is available on the young man, but we have enough to analyze his story so far. We do know that he is from Umlazi, a small town located in the south of Durban in South Africa. Even though his neighborhood was a very humble one, his parents could afford to send him to school. However, very little was left after paying for his tuition and schooling materials. Based on background, I will give him a 5 out of 10. There are a lot of factors that affect the potential for success and background is definitely one of them. It isn't the most important one, but it is there nonetheless. And there are strong research findings to back this claim. 5 out of 10, is the score. Number 2. Education. Sandile was able to attend school, but I cannot say that he went to world-class schools because of the finances available to him. He went on to study civil engineering and dropped out in his third year in school to pursue forex trading full-time. He became successful from trading forex full-time after about three years. After he became successful, he went back to school to obtain degrees in public relations and applied communication. He also has a degree from Harvard in global leadership. We will not be considering the degrees he got after he had become successful. I feel like giving him a 0 out of 10 on this one, but I would just give him a 2. More of a miracle than an expected outcome. And my reasons are as follows. He did take a huge risk that could have pushed his career backward by at least 3 years had he failed. I consider Sandile to be an outlier because not many people pull the stunt of dropping out of school and ending up successful. You may argue that Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg dropped out of school, but aside them, can you really think of anyone else? Less than 20% of world millionaires and billionaires do not have college degrees. This implies that by having a college degree, you significantly improve your chances of becoming a millionaire. I think that will change when online education matures fully. But until then, traditional education seems to be a good way to go, and Sandile decided to drop out. Huge risk. I believe that for him to have successfully pulled this off, he deserves a round of applause. Number 3. Early and present career. His earliest businesses began when he was still in high school. He used to sell muffins. Expanded, and later sold clothes. These are very humble ventures. But today, just about three years later, he is now a Forex millionaire. And a co-founder of Global Forex Institute which won the African Forex Expo Award in 2014. He is also the founder of the Sindile Shezi Foundation. His net worth stands in at about $2.3 million. Looking at where he started and where he is currently, it is clear that the contrast is stark. And it is even more amazing when you look at how many years it took him to make the transition. Just three years. I think he deserves a zero here, but, since he didn't achieve it in six months, I will give him a three out of ten. Just kidding. But what he did is more of a miracle than an expected success. Number 4, Level of Ingenuity. Quite frankly, there isn't enough data to place a number on this one. All we know is that he loved business right from a young age and that was why he went ahead to sell muffins and eventually close. To give this analysis as much accuracy as possible, we have decided to ignore this metric. But just for this episode. Don't worry too much. Taking the average of the previous three scores, we get a 3.33 which is super low, so I think he deserves a resounding round of applause for what he has achieved. His story is more of a miracle than an expected outcome. Not many people can achieve it. And quite frankly, as I have said earlier, I consider him an outlier and I wouldn't advise you to take the kind of risk he did. It is just my humble opinion. You may think differently and I would love to know your thoughts through the comment section below. I don't think the risk he took was uncalculated anyway. 
He probably knew at some point that he was competent enough to succeed at Forex if he gave it all his attention. But again, things could have gone horribly wrong even at that. And that is why I am giving him all the credit. Let us know your thoughts about his story in the comment section. We will see you in the next episode, we love you. As always, stay energized.